So I'd like to talk to you today about how to inoculate tubed media. There's basically three types of tubed media that you're going to be using in the microbiology lab. One of them is liquid, one of them is a solid, and the other one is considered a semi-solid media. Let's take a look at what each one of those would look like. These two examples that I have here are both liquid medias. Notice one of them is clear, one of them is red, and also has a durum tube inside, but when I tilt the tube sideways, you can see they're clearly liquid medias. The other type of media that you'll be using is a solid media. This one is a solid auger media inside of a tube. So notice the slant and when I turn the tube sideways, the auger doesn't move at all, it's completely solid. The next type of media that you'll be using is a semi-solid. Semi-solid can be identified or uh, distinguished from the solid media because the semi-solid is just flat on top, whereas the solid media has the auger slant. So those are the three types of media you could be using in the microbiology lab. A good rule to remember is, if it's liquid, you're going to use a loop. If it's solid or semi-solid, you're going to use the inoculating needle. In order to inoculate this media, you simply take the loop, we're going to do the liquid first, insert the loop into the incinerator for 15 to 20 seconds until it's fully sterilized. Next, you're going to take a sample of your bacterial plate. Could be from a plate or it could be from a liquid culture, also works just the same. Insert the loop inside of the liquid and just give it a quick twist. I'm going to pull it out and as I do, I'll tap it off on the side and then re-incinerate the loop for approximately 15 to 20 seconds again. So both of those liquids will inoculate the same way. Let's try one of the other medias. In order to inoculate a solid auger media, slanted media, we're going to use a needle. Again, the needle goes into the incinerator for 15 to 20 seconds. When I'm ready, I'll pull it out, let that cool for 15 to 20 seconds, then I'll pick up an individual colony off of my plate, insert that needle into the center of the auger, go directly down the center to the base. Once I feel it stab the base, I'll pull it right back out the same insertion point and with a brisk back and forth movement I will inoculate the slant itself. Once I've done that, incinerate the needle for another 15 to 20 seconds and you're ready to go again. So let's do this for the semi-solid. For the semi-solid, again, once it's cooled for 15 to 20 seconds, pick up an individual colony with your semi-solid media tube you're going to inoculate straight up and down through the center of your media, go all the way to the base. When you feel it touch the base, come straight back out the insertion point. In this case, guys, it's very important that you uh, insert and um, extrude through the exact same point that you used. All right? You don't want to disturb the semi-solid media uh, as little as possible. That's the only disturbance you want. Again, once you've inoculated it, Reincinerate your needle 15 to 20 seconds and you're done. And that's how to inoculate the three types of tube media we will be using in the microbiology lab. Thanks for watching.